Hi and welcome back. In this tutorial you will learn how to use Python to do a paired sample t-test. First you're going to learn briefly what the paired sample t-test is and when to use it. After this we will read an example data set using pandas read csv method. When we have some data to practice carrying out the paired samples t-test in Python with, we will start doing so. First we will use scipy to perform the t-test. Second we will use the Python package penguin. As scipy and the t-test underscore rel method only give us the t and p value, we will also learn how to compute an effect size. Note, using penguin and the t-test method, we will get a measure of effect size. We will get uh, Cohen's D, that is. Before we go on to briefly talking about what the paired sample t-test is, it may be worth mention mentioning a few things. First, there are some useful links in the description below. You will find a link to the example data, a Jupyter notebook, uh, a link to a blog post covering the topic a bit more in depth. There's also a link to a blog blog post if you need to learn how to install python packages such as penguin finally you will find links to other youtube videos in which you can learn for example how to read a csv file in python using pandas that said let's learn more about the paired sample t-test the paired sample t-test also known as the dependent sample t-test is a parametric method that can be used to determine whether the mean difference between two sets of observations is zero. In a paired sample t-test, each participant or entity is measured twice, resulting in pairs of observation. Now, I'm not going into more details on when you should use the paired sample t-test in Python, but some of the common applications of this test include case control studies or repeated measures designs. For example, if you want to test the efficiency of an intervention, such as a new drug for depression, you can test the difference between the pre- and the post-tests within the same individuals. In this example, and as it often is the case for the dependent sample t-test, the two samples are separated by time, but will correlate within each individual. That said, let's start importing some data to practice the dependent sample t-test using Python. Okay, it's time to import the data set. So the data set is stored in a CSV file, a comma separated file that is. Uh, so we're going to use uh, pandas. If you need to know how to install pandas, uh, which is a great Python package, you can see a YouTube video in the description below. We start by importing pandas as PD, and we're going to create a data frame object. We call that df for data frame and we're going to do pd read underscore csv and we put uh, the file name uh, or path as a uh, uh, string here uh, and in my case i have uh, stored the example data set in sim data uh, a subfolder to this Jupyter notebook um, data.csv so the, the example data is called paired samples data.csv index call is going to be zero and we can print the first five rows like this and we see we have ids which is the id unique ids of each subject participating in this study and we can see the last five rows and see that we also have a pre and a post test. And this is the score. Now, in the next example, we're going to use SciPy to carry out the paired sample t test in Python. Okay, we're now ready. So we have our data and we're going to use uh, the t test underscore rel method which is a part of scipy stats so we can import from scipy stats import t test underscore rel and now we can have a quick look here t 
test rel. We can see that we need some parameters here, A and B. Uh, so, and we have our data in a data frame, but we can create the A and B uh, variables. And that's our two different uh, paired groups or paired samples. So we can create A by subsetting this data frame. And we're going to take um, all rows where the test is post to begin with. So we can use df query and we put a string here. And as I said, it's a test when it's post. And um, this would give, give us a subset of the entire data frame, but we're going to select only the score column with the dependent variable is. And then we do the same for the pretest. We just change this to pre, and we should be good to go to use ttest real rel a b. And we see we get an output here with a T value and the P value, which is st statistically significant in this case. In the next example, we're going to use Penguin because we get a little bit more information out of that when we carry out that. Okay. In the next example, we're going to use Penguin. So we import Penguin as pt and i hope i spelled it correctly there i was always al almost misspelling it so we can use pt and t test and then a and b again here we have to change to paired and set it to true because we are going to carry out a paired sample t test in python using penguin and as you can see here, we get the T value. Here we also get the degrees of freedom. It was a two-sided t-test. We get the p-value, which is statistically significant, and we get a confidence interval of the difference. We get the Cohen D and a base factor, and we also get the power calculated, which is great. Now in the final example, we're going to calculate um, uh, Cohen's D. That is, if we only want to use uh, SciPy and have Cohen's D, we can calculate this by hand. Okay, before we uh, conclude this video, we're going to calculate Cohen's D. Uh, we're going to calculate Cohen's D uh, according to this uh, formula. Now, here we're also going to use NumPy. We're going to use NumPy because we want to use uh, the square root uh, function SQRT. So we start by importing NumPy as NP, and then we are going to get the first mean, which is A, and we can use the panda method mean to get the mean there, and we get the second mean the same way. Now. The next thing is to call this calculate the standard deviation, pool the standard deviation. So MPQRT like this, and then uh, e, a standard deviation and raised by two. And then we're going to add the other sample, paired sample, which is B, standard deviation. And divide it by two. And we now need to have our parenthesis set up correctly and we don't so let
let's see where we we have one too few there I think yes and then Cohen's D then so we take the first mean subtracted by second mean divided by the standard pooled standard deviation print D and we can see that it's the same as we got up here if we would round it now in this video you got the answer to the question how do I carry out a paired sample t-test in Python first we read data and then we used scipy to carry out the dependent sample t-test and then we learned how to use penguin to carry out the paired sample t-test in Python I hope you learned something and if you did press that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel if you haven't and share it to your friends and colleagues if they need to know how to carry out the dependent sample t-test in python